months. Um, and this response, the law will go into effect on September 1st. Uh, but on Wednesday morning, Rick Shera launched a discussion on fair use. And we looked in particular at Section 107 of the United States Copyright Act. And um, we kind of had a discussion about whether or not that would be a good thing, um, a good addition to uh, New Zealand's copyright law. My question is whether, in your opinion, um, in keeping the best interests of the end users in mind, and if we had to prioritize whether we should focus um, our energies on monitoring the recent expansion to copyright law in the graduated response, or whether we should uh, push for fair use, which will be an exception to copyright law. Um, you, do, you have to do both of those and more uh, at the same time. Um, so I, you know, I'm a big supporter of fair use in the United States. I started a clinic at Stanford that's been fighting enormous range of fair use cases uh, and winning a whole bunch of these cases. Um, uh, but what fair use means in the United States is the right to hire a lawyer. Um, and for most creators, the right to hire a lawyer is not worth very much. Um, so it's not enough to have a system where there's a complicated set of doctrine that requires an extensive legal analysis in order to decide whether you can create or not. We've got to recognize, in addition to the need for fair use in important areas of the law, we have to mark more clearly free use, uses that everybody should understand. There's no legal question around. So for example, when kids take music and remix it to make a video that they want to share with their friends on YouTube, with respect to those kids and the amateur creativity that they've engaged in, there shouldn't be an issue. This should just be free use. It shouldn't be a question of asking the effect on the markets and the, and the transformative character. All of that is stuff for lawyers and, and commercial entities to be arguing about. So I think in addition to worrying about the expansion, in addition to talking about how to create the generative freedom that fair use gives you, we also need to be talking about where to carve back on the scope of copyright and, to, and where to deregulate culture and allow culture to happen without so much uh, legal um, uh, complication on top of it. So those three things have to be done at the same time. No, 